Welcome to the FlowerSchool.com video library. I'm Leanne Kessler, Director of the Floral Design Institute, here to share with you our latest segment on the Duchess Rose. The Duchess Rose is such a voluptuous, glamorous bloom, and they're so popular in the summertime, especially now as brides are looking for that full-blown, blousey, garden rose look. But when you go to a full-blown rose like these, Generally, by the time they've reached this stage, they're starting to fade. And they don't hold very well. And in fact, they can start falling apart just because they're aging. And although it's gorgeous, if it's going to fall apart, that's certainly not going to work. So that's where the Duchess Rose comes to be. It allows you to have that voluptuous, fabulous open look with the security of knowing it's not going to fall apart. To create your Duchess Rose, you'll need several roses. How many depends on how big you want it to be. Then you'll need a foliage to create the back, which I'm going to use Gaelic sleeves for my back. Some wire, depending on what you're going to do with it. It could be a 22 or it can be an 18. I'm going to use two 22 gauge wires to create mine. Then you'll want your Oasis floral adhesive to glue the petals on, tape, to create the artificial stem. And then lastly, depending on how big you want it to be, you may stop just with this and create a beautiful rose, or you may want to expand it. And to expand it, you can use a number of different things. I'm going to use the disposable candle bobesh. They come in plastic, but it also works very well to use the end of a used up bit of ribbon. And just take it apart and use this to create a little bit of a backing to give support. You can paint it to different colors if you want it to be a little bit more artsy. And I've even seen people use paper plates to create a great, big, wonderful Duchess Rose. So there's lots of things you can do. But the key really is wire and tape and the glue and then your flowers and you're ready to go. First step is to choose the base of your bloom. It shouldn't be great big like this. That's too open. But it also shouldn't be totally closed like this. It'll give you too pointy of a center. You want something that has started to open but isn't too full. This one's just about perfect. You can see how it's starting to cup out, but it's still a fairly tight bloom. Take that one, give it a cut, remove that stem and then using the 22 gauge wire, cross pierce right through the hip. So I go down with one, and then I turn it and cross pierce. Then I don't want the green to show, but I don't want to break it off either, because if you break it off, the rose will start to fall apart. So instead, I just tape it down onto the stem, and taping it very securely, this becomes the stem of the flower when we're done and the center of the bloom to build upon. Next, I create the base that's going to support. So I'm using that plastic bobesh and the rose is going to go down through with petals on that. But the back needs to be concealed and made beautiful. And for that, I'm going to use the Gaelic sleeves. And I begin by just totally removing their stems on a few of them, maybe three or four. Then the Oasis Floral Adhesive, just gluing it onto the leaves. Not too heavy, just some, letting it begin to dry. If you get a little too much on one like I did here, just take another leaf and share so that glue goes on both. Then going back to the first one where it's starting to dry, setting that directly on to the bobesh and then wrapping it around. And again, making sure that the back is completely concealed. 
And then lastly, before I stop, I go back with another set of leaves. So I let that set and I do two or three with the stems left on. And I overlap these with the stem staying because that will help hold it all together later. And it just holds it into place. And now we have to wait and just hold it here and let it dry. If you rush it, the whole thing could fall apart. So you just have to be patient and wait for it to set. Now that you have the two base pieces done, the center flower and then the backing, it's time to start putting extra petals on. And I do that by just taking a rose and literally pulling it apart so that you just have the petals laying them out. The smallest ones you're not going to be able to use. You want the little bit larger ones. I'm doing the same thing again. Then starting with the rose base, you take the petals and put a bit of glue on the inner base of the petal. Just a dab right at the bottom and let it start to dry. So this is on the pretty inside area. Then once you have several petals ready, going back to where you started because it started to set and dry there. Add them on to the side of your flower. Putting the glue set, wrapping it around. You can see it starts building out, getting fuller, more luxurious. And you can do that for quite a while because it does support itself. But you'll notice that the more you go out, the more it can start flopping a little bit and that's where we're going to need the support. When you're happy with the center, set it aside so that it continues to dry and set. And then go back to your base. And this time, instead of putting the glue on the inside, you put the glue on the outside because it's going to glue down to the base. So we go through just like we did before, but this time glue on the outside of the petal. And again, do several so that it starts to set. And if it's a bad petal, don't use it because it'll show. You want only the pretty petals. That should be enough to get started with. Then I go back and start with the ones that I glued first and place them against the bobash. Working my way around. And 
And then as I get down to where I don't have enough petals glued, go back and glue some more so that they'll be ready for you. Let them set. Always gluing on the back. I'm picking up where I left off with my first batch that I had been gluing. Just overlapping. You can see how I'm creating a lovely ring of petals. Pressing it down, making sure the glue is setting. And going back and repeating that now over the top to get it fuller and lusher. And then gluing some more. So you can see it takes quite a few roses to get the luxurious look that you want. And again, just repeating all the way around. Pushing them down, making sure that they sit nicely onto the bobash so it doesn't come loose later. And the glue isn't quite set yet, so it still kind of wiggles on me. I have to be patient. And you just keep repeating that, and patience becomes a virtue as you wait for it to set. Once you have the two components done, then it's so easy. Again, a little bit more of the Oasis Floral Adhesive on the back of your first bloom, all the way around. Let it set slightly. Then just lift, slide it through the center pulling it down, and let the glue adhere to the petals underneath. And then again, patience, patience, patience. You've got to hold it tightly to make sure that it sets in there securely. And then the leaves that had the stems, that's the trick. Taper them a little bit so that they don't all stop at exactly the same spot. But then tape over, and they help hold it all together as well so that the flower doesn't separate. And when you're done, you've got a perfect Duchess Rose ready to use any way you would like. The Duchess Rose is such a fabulous bloom. I absolutely adore them. They're a wonderful addition to wedding work. You can do one thing to help make it last a little bit longer. And that's once you've completed it. Spray it down completely with crowning glory. Front, back, sides, all of it. That will seal the moisture in. It's still a flower for the moment. It's going to last for the event, just the day. It's not going to last overnight into the next day. But for the bride that wants the most fabulous Duchess Rose ever, this is it. Now, for more creative inspiration, check out our website at flowerschool.com. If you've got questions or comments, don't hesitate to contact us. You can reach us through the website or by telephone at 1-800-819-8089. If email is easier, use my personal email at leanne, L-E-A-N-N-E, -N -N -E, at floraldesigninstitute.com. For now, happy summertime. Create a way in the Duchess Rose and do something you love.